and welcome back in part 2 of this Let's Play episode of the Outer World, where we uh, crashed from the sky into a weird unknown planet, and uh, apparently we now have brain damage as well due to being frozen for 70 years, so here we go. Okay. It doesn't sound like a normal functioning human. No, it does not. Well, is that explosive barrels? I'm no expert, neither shooting or explosive, but it sounds like it could get rid of the problem. Au revoir, mon ami. Yes. Ah, there was a second one. Shit. Get away! Huh. Not that hard. He has a saber. Okay, we're not proficient with guns, but we're even less proficient with anything that's not a regular kitchen knife, so we'll take it. Might be useful, but I don't think we'll be using that. These toes, though. Yeah, that worked. And now the saber. Well, given that we're a bit empty on the cash situation here, maybe we can make some quick bucks selling this thing. There must be some traders somewhere in this backward world, country, planet, wherever we are. Oh, well, zero jibu. That's beer. Meh. Not what I uh, really wish. But uh, alcohol is alcohol, so we'll take it. Macpick as well. Tar mac and cheese. Yeah, looks like food. Hacking and picking locks. Hacking and lock picking skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. We like that. Macpicks I use to break open lock, bypass shuns I use to break computer encryptions. If your skills is high enough to break the security, you will see how many Macpicks or shuns you need and how long it will take. Okay. Well, we can't we don't have the level 4, so yeah. Ain't gonna happen. Gonna take them anyway. And that is food as well, yes. Let's see what that uh, alcoholic beverage was. Better than nothing. Zero G brew. Made in space. It's pretty cool, I guess. Mm -hmm. A nail is good for what ails you. Sure. Sure. I could really go for some wine, some whiskey, but I will do. Ah. Weak. Eh. No oh, fuck. More of these butter. Yeah. No. No explosive barrels this time. I'm not sure how I feel about. Yeah, you know what? We have a solution for this. We're just going to shoot one of them in the groin and then run like hell. Not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. <laughs> Fuck. Bad call. Yee. Run. Run. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed. Yeah, well. Look. Okay, you didn't follow me. Good, good. Now, who the hell are you? I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best Space. keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Huh. Gall on that rung leech. 
Landing in the veil without using an official spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's... You know, it's just a landing viola violation. Uh, nothing... Nothing much. Just let it go. You out of your mind? No way. Once we've dealt with these marauders, I'm hunting that sick freak down. Okay, just, okay. You know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Huh. huh. Well... Given that they're looking for me... Let's see if they can't go get their brain splashed by the marauders down there. It's win-win. Either they go and they kill marauders, so I don't have to, and my ship is clear, and then we'll deal with them, or they get killed, and I don't have to deal with them. Do I have to deal with the marauder? Uh, just let's see how this plays out. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, mm -hmm. you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. We'll stay right here behind this rock. That's good, that's good. Looks like they uh, cleared the marauders. Good, good. Hopefully we can uh, lie away out of any situation here. Anything interesting here? Another light pistol. Ah, sure, we'll take it. Bit cartridge. Storing amount of bits used as currency in the colonies. Currency! Money! Finally! Electronic currency. Okay. This is something we're going to need a lot. A lot of. Light ammo, sure. Another pistol. Same. Everything we can sell and make some money, we'll take. Alright. Let's get rid of her. Hopefully we won't have to resort to violence, but... This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Mm-hmm. So you won't talk to me? Hmm. So this is the ship that weird scientist guy was talking about. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Shame. Welcome aboard Apex Transport Triangulum Colony 2325. The unreliable. Uh, rassurant. Très rassurant. This seems to be uh, the center of command. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. No, I don't think so. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. I am the Please Marauder. be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Mm -hmm. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Mm, immediate destruction? But what are you gonna do? Self-destruct? If you... You appear to be sentient, that would not make sense. Jetson procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all boarding parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, but... You realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. Deception protocol. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <laughs> well, both of us then. 
Um, this is supposed to be Hawthorne ship, right? The mercenary. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. It's problematic. Uh, he's kind of a red smear under my uh, my escape pod. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. Sure, I am programmed sure. to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Mm, I see. I see. I get it. You didn't mean to be Captain Hawthorne. Just uh, protocols and such. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Yeah, sussy. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Hmm. I'm no engineer, but I don't think we'll find something just sitting around the garage. Not that I've seen any garage so far. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity mm -hmm. power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. You're kind of this here. cartridge identifies you. Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I do. I got it. Thank you. And so I am Captain Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Okay, kinda like it. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Level up. Good. Let's see. Skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, like melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Special unlocks. Oh yeah, okay. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor, consumables, and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and the skills passive bonuses but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Okay. Let's see then. Um, as I said, we want to focus... Oh, we have... some already quite nice skill here. Now we want to focus on leadership first, since we're going for a build with companions, and we want to be able to have them make a lot of damage, and... Um, take a lot of damage as well. So, full speed ahead on leadership. Yes. And the perk now. Uh, 50 bath health, that's always good. Uh, that's not essential. That is certainly not something we want since we'll be playing with companions. These two are character-wise something we'll definitely need to take. You know, for the parkour specialty of Rosso. Um, this is useful at some point. Companion crit chance, that, that's nice as well. Science weapons, I think we'll be using science weapons. But uh, too early for that now. Base armor is fine, but five is not much. Carry capacity as well. Oh, we'll start with this. This is going to help us get uh, quite a good deal of XP. 
which means we'll be able to rise quite fast and uh, tackle the DLCs in not too not too long, I hope. So we go with this. And we have a new entry in the journal. We need to find a power regulator. Yes. Nearby settlement of Edgewater. Well, then we're going to uh, go on a short trek to Edgewater, I guess. See what's what. Talk to the folks over there. Hopefully, they'll have a nice power regulator we can uh, borrow. Convince them to uh, give it to us. And just get the hell out of here. Oh, sorry, right trigger. Codex, basics, holographic shroud. I won't read everything for you, I'm just checking out here. Exploration. Okay, yeah, these are the basics uh, of the game. Quite a lot of stuff. Alright. We'll drop a save here. There we go. And let's first deal with these two, then we'll trek towards Edgewater, which according to our map is uh, somewhere at the east. That seems to be a short trip. Hopefully they have some place we can find some decent alcohol as well. Because let me tell you, I need something to drink stronger than a beer. This has been kind of a crazy day. Well, I say day. It's like crazy 70 years. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because <clears throat> you sure walked in it like it was your ship. Mm -hmm. And if this ship is yours, well, mister... You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Mm -hmm. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Dock my pay, huh? No, 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 no. Miss, you get it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. I will Edgewater's do. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. That's better. Merci, Lieutenant Mercer. Take care. Nothing we can get out with a little bit of sweet talking. And by that I mean a few white lies here and there. Too bad we couldn't lie our way out of the pickle we were before embarking the hope. Ah, shit. More of these guys. And try to avoid them. But we have quite a bit of ammo, but not that proficient with the gun, so maybe let's... What am I thinking here? I think I took a hit to the head here. We're not going to charge gun blazing into a... Uh, oh shit. A situation... Yeah, good, good. It didn't see us. Let's keep going. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. No fighting. We're in the clear. Well, time to run. And this must be yes, edge water. Wasn't lying. Short trick. you come from? Well... Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. 
You, you see, uh, my pod crashed in the hills back there. Your pod? What are you on about? You take a bruise to the cranium? Probably. It ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Mmm, that's nice. Well... Dilemma, dilemma. Should we keep our cover, or...? Yeah, for now, let's keep our cover. We don't know these people. We don't know where we are. Seems more prudent. Nice to meet you. I'm uh, Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Oh, gross. You don't want none of that on you. No. Nope. Name's Silas. No, no, no. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice family? Is the second guy talking to me about that? The third? Forgot if the lady and the ship was Spacer's Choice as well. Seems to be some kind of corporation. Anyway, um, quite a few things we need to hear from you. First and foremost, do you know anything about Power Regulator, my good sir? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. Mm, He's up do. in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Hmm... Well, it depends. Do you get a job for me? Do you get money for me? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? That's just messed up. You're making people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge. Okay. Well... If there's money involved, I'll do it for you. I can do that. I can talk people into giving me money. Yeah, I'll collect the fees. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Yeah, what do you mean? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Alright, just let me know where they are, so I can uh, navigate in the town. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Okay. Okay. I'll be back. Stay put. Hopefully that can get us a little uh, capital to get started. It seems to be open. Let's close that. Hmm. Tempting, but we're no thief. Though we may check the terminal though. From Inhumor Association. Subscription has expired. Spam emails, I see that uh, even out here spam emails are still a thing. Space of choice, human resources. It should take care of its own from the cradle to the grave. Okay, so the graveside plots and headstones are provided by Space of Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable and spacious plots. Yeah, sure. Like you need that when you're dead. Custom engraved headstone and monograms, complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry, the OSI. Interesting. Let your spirit rest in the privacy of a space of choice brand graveside. Ok, 
Okay. Let's head into town. Okay. Not a big town. Barbershop, eh? We'll need to go check that. Uh, there's this guy. I need to collect that from... I forgot his name already, but... First, I saw Cantina. Close to the, the French word Cantine. Only the part that said we ain't making our quota. I don't know you. Well, eat. Mostly drink. So. Yes, that looks like a bar. We don't Good welcome trouble. I don't know what you're about. But this here is a spacer's Bonjour, choice yeah. drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Oh. Uh, nice to meet you too. Everyone's you really so think friendly so? and welcoming. That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Good. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. And we what just a got fine some problems lately. It is, dear Amelia. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. I'll take your word for it. Coming right up. Mm hmm. Deserves? Yeah, just, just. Let, let me see first what's on tap here. Energy drink, zero brew, here's water, and tea. Are you freaking kidding me? Well, I guess beer is then. And I can't even buy it. What a joke. And with that, folks, that will be the end of this episode. But don't worry, the next one is coming very soon. Thank you for watching, and uh, have a great evening, morning, wherever you are. Till next time.